I am gonna have to talk pretty loudly in today's video because there is a lot of gunfire going on around me. The area that I am in is very popular for target shooting. If you squint down below, you can see some target shooters down there are all set up with their pickup trucks shooting against the back of a quarry. But look at this view out in the distance. That is Picket Post Mountain and Apache Leap Cliff out in the distance with the town of Superior just below Apache Leap Cliff. But that's not the reason I'm uh, standing where I'm standing. I'm standing next to these beautiful, beautiful ruins. And look at this rock wall as I enter the rune area here. Look at this amazing rock wall. This is the Queen Valley Runes. High above Queen Creek in Arizona, I'll pan around. There is the peak of the uh, mountain that I'm on right there. You can see a couple more rooms. We'll walk over to those in just a minute. But let me turn around, show you this defensive wall that surrounds the plateau just, above, just uh, below the peak here at the Queen Valley Runes. Now I first discovered, well I didn't discover them, but I first found out about these runes, giving myself too much credit. I first found out about these runes about five or six years ago on a hiking website for hiking in Arizona. I think anyone who lives in Arizona and likes to hike might know the website. And they weren't referred to as the Queen Valley Runes, they were called the Quebec Rock Runes. And I came up to visit them. I don't know where that name came from. I don't know if that's a legitimate name or just the name made up by a local snowbird from uh, Canada. Who knows? I like the name the Queen Valley Runes because they're right next to the town of Queen Valley, sitting high above Queen Creek. As a matter of fact, before we go over to the main runes, we'll look down here. You can see Queen Creek. And again, if you squint, you can see lots of trailers and cars lined up a lot of people out doing target shooting this is a very popular area for it but look at these awesome rock walls that we have here and we're gonna head over because they have this amazing defense perimeter rock wall it stretches all the way around the plateau just below the peak but there's also some well intact structures and I'm gonna approach one right here there's three that are up here at least three main ones and here's the first of them this one's got these tiny little side rooms to it i don't know whether those were used for storage maybe i'm assuming this was all defensive because look at that look at that rune i mean this is just absolutely amazing these rock walls these are going back 700 plus years large circular room there and uh, again the reason I think they might have been a, a defensive area obviously they have the defensive perimeter but the views from up here got to stretch a good 60 miles in each direction here's another uh, structure and looking around for pot shards I really don't see much of anything up here there's a few small shards but not a heavy amount of them there is a lot of evidence of digging. And please remember, if you come to see these runes, they're 700 plus years old. Do not come up here with the intent to dig or take anything away from them. Do your best to not even touch the rock walls when you're up here. And it's a big plateau, so you can get away with really not touching anything. We're gonna work our way to the north side of the mesa here. And you can see looking out across, well, this was, I guess, kind of northwest. You can see a good shot of the superstitions, the front range of the superstitions here in central Arizona. That's a uh, peak, what is that, 5075, I think. And then you can also see Weaver's Needle to its right. And we'll walk along the um, north wall here. And these walls are in great shape. Absolutely amazing. The Queen Valley runes. Getting to them, okay. Not a long hike, but there's no trail. These are not like the uh, 
runes that you would find up in Walnut Canyon or uh, what are some of the other big runes in northern Arizona? Montezuma Castle, where they're guarded by the National Park and therefore there's a trail. Tuzi Good uh, has a trail to it. These are completely in the wild, so it's up to us to keep them pristine and protect them as much as possible. I'll pan around here. There's my wife. She's beyond unhappy today. She is outright pissed off because getting up here was a bushwhack. No trail whatsoever. And she got her socks filled with little burrs from the spring bloom. And she's just not happy in any way, shape, or form today. So we'll stay away from her. And here's the third structure that you can see. This one's a little smaller. What I like about this one, uh, they just built it right into the pre-existing boulders that are up here on top of the peak. So these are the Queen Valley Runes in Central Arizona, located between Superstition, uh, excuse me, between Superior and the Valley of the Sun, the Mesa area. And I think I've given in a way enough clues as to kind of where they're at that you can figure, figure out the rest on your own, but enjoy them. Come here, take a look at them, enjoy them, but please keep them clean and keep them well-preserved.